Welcome back. So Ryan Strumrud is has set a new swimming record in the Cape. On Thursday, he swam across False Bay in 8 hours and 39 minutes over a distance of 34 kilometers. Uh, Ryan joins us now from the Western Cape. Ryan, very good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I suppose one simple question would be why on earth are you putting yourself through this? But it's, been, it's a fantastic, I mean, it was a, a fantastic swim. You become only the sixth uh, solo uh, swimmer to achieve the particular crossing. What's your motivation? Wow, just because it's extremely hard. You know, it's been a long journey of challenging myself. Um, I certainly didn't start uh, by swimming across False Bay, you know, lo lots of small steps. Um, you know, starting from the couch, doing nothing and loving the remote and getting fat and doing, you know, getting lazy, uh, to starting to swim, to setting the first very small goal, which seemed like an Everest back then, working my way all the way up to, to do swims that uh, are extremely difficult to do, as was the one I, I managed to complete on Thursday. Okay, so tell us how, how this works, because you, 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 you're swimming, you've got a couple of support uh, uh, boats with you in case anything happens, that, that, that makes a lot of sense, but there are rules. Uh, talk to us about some of those rules. Yeah, so, so we do it, um, if you want to be recognized for it, you can only wear a, a Speedo kind of costume, a sort of a brief costume, one cap and goggles, so there's no wetsuits or anything like that, you have to endure the cold. When you walk into the water, so I started in Miller's Point, so um, I have to clear the water, I have to be completely out of the water. Once I jump in, the clock starts, and I'm not allowed to touch anything or get any help other than feeds that are supplied by the boat. They throw me a water bottle, a juice bottle, whatever my, my, my choice of drink is, um, until I reach um, 33, just over 33 kilometers on the other side. Um, and obviously the support boat there is to guide you. They act as your eyes and your ears, and they look out for all kinds of things um, and also make sure you get the right trajectory, but they're not allowed to help you in any other way. Brian, just to, just to take a step back in terms of how you got into this, A, how did you get into it? And, uh, and, and, and the reason I'm asking how did you get into it, I'm just thinking why swimming instead of maybe you know, running for, for, for that long or whatever it is. Uh, why swimming? How did you get into it? And, and what does this mean to you, you know, this new record? Well, firstly, how did I get into it? Such a simple story, actually. Um, as I said, I was getting fat and lazy on the couch, and I took a client away, a guy called Grant Fraser, and he um, said, well, you know, if you think you should do some exercise, join my little swimming squad with a gentleman called Gary Freeling, and that was uh, many years ago. He's still my coach today. I joined a swimming squad and uh, managed to do 20 lengths, which is half a kilometer, um, and I was quite proud of myself and, you know, felt nauseous because I pushed so hard. And then slowly, if you, if you keep that up, you, you meet people. And I found somebody who had actually completed a Robben Island swim that's from Robben Island to the mainland. And I thought, you know, that's just crazy. Here I am swimming in the same squad as someone as great as that who's done that. It's like an impossible task. And eventually I set that as a goal. And uh, I achieved my first Robben Island back in 2003 yep. at the age of 30. And I think that's also an important message. You know, I only started swimming um, when I was a lot older. And why swimming? Just because um, I have always enjoyed the water and I'm, I'm a reasonable swimmer. Yep. Believe it or not, I'm not a great swimmer by any stretch of the imagination. Look, but I just started I'll... a journey now. I've actually. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. So I, we're just running out of time, but I suppose the, the key there that you're saying is just, you know, what, it's one of those things where you just have to get up and do it. And uh, well done to you, Ryan. Well done. It's, it's, it's really a great Thank achievement so there. 34 kilometers across False Bay. Uh, you set a new record. Thank you so much, uh, Ryan Stromrud. They're talking to us from the Western Cape. Uh, thank you so much to Sims as well. That's it for Sunday Sport. JJ Tabane is up next with Two to Power at the top of the hour. Bye-bye for now.